Okay, this is, uh, I suppose, a clue of, of the blue worms. This is, oddly enough, as far away from them as I can get. But it's wild with, I don't know what, I know that these are LED lights, but I don't really know what color temperature or how that works, but uh, I just picked these guys out so that take a look at them and their speediness. You can see there's already one trying to make his great escape here. Got them sitting on a banana peel this time. So these were just random ones in a bin. They weren't um, being interrupted, having fun, or anything. They just uh, happened to be the closest bunch of blue worms to the side. Yeah, so it comes the conversation of the clitellum and the blue worm. So either that worm down there that we can see has the poofy clitellum is not a blue worm, or they do kind of maybe poof up when they are going to have a cocoon. I don't know. But these are, you know, these are the color of a Bing cherry. So they're very, very dark, and you can see this one... None of them are really, their clitellums don't really stick out very well when we're looking at them without the microscope. You can't hardly see it at all. But now that I have them under the microscope, I, I can see them. So, not sure what to think about that. Got that little yellowish tail on that one there. Maybe it's just a really dark red worm. I don't know. Every time I think I'm getting better at this worm identification thing. Oh, he stuck his tongue out of this. Did you guys see that? He's like, yeah, lady, I don't, I don't like being in the spotlight so much at all. But, um, at least under this color of light, they are fluorescing very similar to the African night crawler. There, buddy. wrapping around my finger right now. So, at least under magnification, you can see a clitellum on these. I mean, you can see it. It's not poofed up, but you can see it. Let's see if I can get them to turn around. See what the underneath side looks like. See if there's any interesting. Yeah, maybe. Okay, now he's getting sassy with me. Yeah, maybe. There's the underneath side. Oh, 
Oops. Lost him. So I know a lot of times we talk about, you know, count the pores underneath. But with this one, I'm kind of trying to see the underneath, and I'm not. I thought it was kind of near the tail end. Okay, where'd you go? There you are. I'm not seeing anything. I mean, it's, it's possible that it's not that mature of a worm. Or it's not enough magnification. I don't know. I'm getting pretty dry. I'm going to put them back. They're really dark. I mean, that, I mean that's, that's a banana skin. It's really that color. It's not been adjusted. see that one's mouth a little bit. And it could before I moved them under the light too much. the banana. Yeah, sorry if the focus wasn't great, but this light blinds me just about as much as it blinds them. I wonder what that is. The blue. It's very interesting. Well, I'm going to quit aggravating these guys here. And, uh, but thank you very much for hanging out with me and my worms. This is just part of the microscope series here. Um, if you have any ideas of things you'd like to see, let me know. But other than that, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody have a good night. Thank you.